If you're interested in laser programming, Touch Designer is a great way to get started. LaserCube works in Touch Designer now, so let's take a look at how it works. If you go to the Wicked Lasers GitHub, you'll find the Laser OS Touch Designer repository. You can go to the releases and download a zip bundle of the latest version. Or if you're familiar with Git, you can use it to check out the latest code. Let's do that. Once the laser cube is hooked up, powered on, turned on, we can open the Touch Designer project. The first time a Touch Designer plugin tries to load, we'll see this security warning. Uh, these can potentially contain untrusted code, so it's good to know when you're loading something. Uh, once you accept the laser OS driver, you won't see this again unless you upgrade or move it to a new location. This is the touch designer interface. Uh, you can see the laser OS chop selected down here. If we look at the signal data coming into it, we've got the sample rate set at 30,000 samples per second. Uh, the specs support 30K PPS at eight degrees. In my experience, the, the deck seems to, seems to give the best results in Touch Designer. Uh, you may want to be sure that your image doesn't get too large or too detailed. If your scanners start making noise, getting too hot, uh, you can damage your laser cube. Don't want to do that. So let's make sure our device is selected. Hey, it works. So you can see here we are creating the geometry. Here's a component that scans that geometry and turns it into laser signals. We're able to control some of the blanking settings and the signal optimization here. I've already got these settings dialed in pretty well for a laser cube. This is a simulator, so you can pre-visualize your laser projects without having your laser cube with you. And you can easily add parameters here to modulate things about the signal. Uh, this will adjust on the x-axis. Let's change the color too. Nice. Great. Thanks for watching. That should get you started and keep an eye out for more videos.